In this lecture, we will look over some important road terminology. Components of road section. These are important as they influence the safety, comfort, and efficient movement of traffic. The minimum values for all these cross-sectional elements are available. The diagram shows various components of road section, which we will be discussing individually. Right-of-way. It is width of land acquired for the road. It should accommodate all the components of road section. Road margin. The various cross-sectional elements of the road, except the carriageway or pavement width. Service road, shoulders, footpaths, are part of the road margin. Formation width. The whole width of road which includes median, lanes, verges, and shoulders. Side slope. The transverse slope, respect to the horizon, connecting shoulder to the storm water drain to drain the water. Berm. Is a barrier provided to help prevent the erosion of embankment of soil into the storm drain. Carriageway. Is the width of road on which a vehicle. A roadway can comprise one or more carriageways. Service road. It's an alternative road constructed between a road and buildings, connected only at selected points with the carriageway. Shoulders. Provided on both sides of the road edges. It helps accommodate stopped and emergency vehicles, and provide lateral support for base and surface courses. Camber. It is the slope provided to the carriageway. To raise middle surface to ensure water will rain offs from road surface into the side drainage systems. Curbs. It helps indicate the boundary between the carriageway and the shoulder or islands or footpaths. It also helps in confinement and stability to the base course. We will be discussing various materials used for road construction. Asphalt is a natural mixture of bitumen. Bitumen is a solid or viscous material, having binding and waterproofing properties, derived from petroleum by refinery process. Coarse aggregates. These are either crushed or broken stone, crushed slag, conker, or laterite of suitable quality. It shall conform to the physical requirements and size range before being used. It accounts for 75% to 98% of the material of base and surface courses. Screening material. Screening to fill voids in the coarse aggregate shell generally consists of the same material as the coarse aggregate. Marum and sand gravel can also be used. 95% of the material should pass through 13.2 mm screen. Grit. These are 10 mm aggregates, and most common type of screening. Rubble. Type of coarse aggregates, size 230 mm to 300 mm, 9 inches to 12 inches. Metals. The terms is used for quarry material coarse aggregates. Aggregates are available common sizes of 32 to 40, 40 to 63, and 63 to 90 mm. Fine aggregate. Usually categorized as material less than 2.8 mm in size can be natural sand, quarry, or a mixture of both. The material is usually used for concrete work. This size of material, if used to fill voids, is characterized as screenings. Murum. It's a type of soil which is particularly used for road work. It's usually reddish to yellowish in color. When compacted, it forms a hard and impervious surface. Aggregates influence, to a great extent. The load transfer capability of pavements. All materials should for construction should be thoroughly tested before using. Our goal should be to make the road pavement layers, to act monolithically, 